Hello everyone, this is Puka, and welcome to another edition of Bad Deck Monday, where we take a silly idea, run with it, and see if it'll actually work for once. Today we're going to look at a Seismitoad deck. Not the round one. Not the Seismitoad EX that everybody is all excited to get in the Furious Fist set. No, we're going to look at the neglected Seismitoad, the Team Plasma one. So it has a very interesting attack, Seismic Punch. Does 30 damage and 30 damage to each benched Pokemon, both yours and your opponent. So it basically does 30 to everything in play it, except itself. Alright, so this can be very good and very bad. If your opponent has a full bench of Pokemon, we can actually do 180 total damage. That's ridiculous, right? 6 Pokemon times 30. 180 damage just for a single double colorless energy, and that's pretty darn good. Now, of course, we need to be able to rearrange that damage because, you know, you can't use that attack too many times. It's tough to get so many Stage 2 Pokemon into play, attacking over and over. So, of course, we're going to use Dusknor as well with that Sinister Hand ability. It will allow us to rearrange the damage on our opponent's Pokemon after we've used Seismic Punch. So, basically, we're going to spread a ton of damage out. And then Dusknor is going to move it to the correct Pokemon. And, you know, just eliminate any threats that there may be. Um, th this is honestly probably just a worse version of that Flygon Dusknor deck, but that's what makes it Bad Deck Monday. We get to use unusual Pokemon instead of the ones we see all the time. Right? Now, in order to block our damage to our own bench, we will be running Mr. Mime. Bench barrier prevents all damage done to your bench Pokemon by tax, so... With Mr. Mime, our Seismitoad's Seismic Punch will not hurt our own bench Pokemon. Unless we want to, we do run to Rush Ram as well with the Outrage Attack. Does 20 plus 10 for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So the idea here is against those pesky Verizian Genesect decks. Well, we are weak to grass, so we need some kind of Pokemon to deal with them. Rush Ram can do a pretty darn good job. If we actually hurt ourselves with Seismic Punch, Outrage will do more damage, and then we can actually start to knock out things like Verizian EX and Genesect EX. So we do run two Rush Ram, and in some weird cases, we could continue to Seismic Punch our own Rush Ram and build up for a gigantic Outrage against other decks. We do have some other attackers as well. One Mill Tank, you know, just Powerful Friends is pretty good. One Energy, 80 damage when you have a Stage 2 Pokemon. On your bench, and then one Dredagon as well. Since we are running double colorless energy, revenge can be nice just to do a nice 90 damage there for a single energy. Of course, this double colorless energy is the one that pretty much makes this deck work. Provides two colorless energy. We only get to run four of these, but look at what it gets to power up. Seismic Punch, Revenge, Outrage. I mean, it's just pretty good. Thankfully, Powerful Friends only takes one energy, but... Hey, uh, that's why Mill Tank is there. Only takes one energy. All right, so basic combo here. Seismic Punch, spread a bunch of damage. Mr. Mime's Bench Barrier blocks the damage to our own bench, and Sinister Hand allows us to rearrange the damage on our opponent's Pokemon. Pretty simple. Pretty difficult to pull off. Not quite as good as the Flygon Dusknor deck, but still fun nonetheless. All right, our supporter cards. We're going to have four Skyla, four N, two Colrus, Two Professor Juniper, one Lysander, and then a couple Tropical Beach as well to help us set up our very clunky Stage 2 deck. We have two Muscle Band just to make Seismic Punch do a little ex extra damage. Pack a little more punch in that Seismic Punch. Searching cards, we have two Level Ball, three Ultra Ball, and then one Heavy Ball since it actually can get Seismitoad and Dusknor, both those having a three retreat cost, so... Heavy Ball, a pretty versatile card in this deck as well. Two Switch, just to have some nice switching cards. We do have a lot of Heavy Retreat costs, as we just saw. Four Rare Candy, to allow us to get our Stage 2 Pokemon into play very quickly. One Startling Megaphone for that pesky Garbodor. And then one Super Rod, to shuffle in anything we might need to get back. And Dowsing Machine is the Ace spec of choice, just allowing us to recover a Trainer card from the discard pile. Five water energy, four double colas energy, and that is our Seismitoad Dusknor deck. Now you may be wondering, why is this deck so bad? This doesn't seem too bad, does it? 
Well, there are a lot of reasons. Number one, if someone else is playing Mr. Mime, this deck doesn't work. <laughs> uh, we don't get to hit their bench because of bench barrier. So that's honestly one of the main reasons we are running Lysander in this deck. If our opponent's running Mr. Mime, we need to get rid of it very quickly, whether that's through a mill tank, powerful friends, or, you know, something else. But Mr. Mime is the biggest weakness of this deck. Second of all, like I've been saying, this is probably just a worse version of the Flygon Dusknor deck. <laughs> um, this really has no redeeming qualities over it, uh, except that we get to use Seismitoad instead, and look at how goofy he looks. Third, if our opponent simply doesn't bench a lot of Pokemon, we don't do much damage. That is a major flaw. <laughs> Uh, and also, again, Verizian Genesect is a real problem, that grass weakness. And to top things off, this is a very inconsistent stage 2 deck with lots of things. And we require 2 energy to attack. So there are just a lot of reasons this deck probably isn't very good. But, enough of the explanation. Let's see this bad boy in action and see if we can pull off a few seismic punches with our Seismitoad. On Bad Deck Monday. So we're going to have a mulligan and a second one. And alright, we finally start off with that Drudagon. Not a preferred starter by any means. It has a 2 retreat cost. Ew. And also doesn't do much damage. Unless one of your Pokemon was knocked out. So Drudagon, probably one of our worst starting Pokemon. But at least it does have 110 HP. So if we're up against an aggressive deck... And it looks like we very much so are. Then uh, it'll be just a nice Pokemon to buffer some damage in the meantime. Pretty tough to knock out a Dredagon on the first turn. At least for most decks it is. Alright, so we're going to start off here with an Ultra Ball. Grabbing a Timpole. And then we're going to use Tropical Beach to fill the hand up to 7 cards. Not a bad opening hand. We do have a Rare Candy and a Seismitoad ready to go along with a Switch. Maybe with, um, well, we don't really have any supporters Never mind, there's an end, so we're going to get a fresh hand of six cards. Alright, so our six cards here, not bad. We do have a Skyla and a Rare Candy, so we could certainly get a Seismitoad going. And it looks like my opponent's just going to opt to Tropical Beach that turn. Probably didn't have a very strong hand either. So alright, let's go with the Skyla here. I'm going to take a heavy ball, I think, if it's in there. And yes, indeed it is. This way we don't have to discard any crucial cards. We can go ahead and heavy ball right for that Seismitoad. Get that into play. Rare candy. Don't have a switch, unfortunately, but, you know, we'll just take this turn once again to Tropical Beach after playing down that DC and a Muscle Band just to draw more cards. Going to fill the hand up to seven and go from there. So a pretty solid start so far. Got the Seismitoad ready to go. Uh, it's just going to be a matter of using Seismic Punch enough to start getting knockouts. And that is really the difficult part. It is tough to get enough seismic punches off to win the game. <laughs> uh, as you'll probably see in this game. You'll probably get a quick knockout or two. And then you really start to struggle to finish off the game. Because you have to move all the damage to the things that have the energy. And knock them out otherwise. They start knocking out our seismic toad. And it just gets ugly. Now, I am relieved here to see that this is a Curum Plasma deck, not one with Lugia EX. Lugia tends to be much more difficult since that Plasma Gale attack takes two prizes in chunks, and we really don't have a way to knock it out immediately. So I'm relieved to see Curum instead of the Lugia. Lugia, much worse. Curum, much more manageable, I do believe. So here we do see an N after that energy going out of the Kyurem, along with a Silver Bangle, which won't be too useful, I don't think. We do see the Coerce Machine, so we certainly could see a Frost Spear, which would be a little annoying right now. But, you know, once we get Mr. Mime into play, we do stop that Frost Spear from being too useful. There is Deoxys EX coming into play, and the Raid Knuckle for 50 damage. And another energy will come into play onto that Kyurem. Looks like my opponent is saying, you know what, I need to power up Blizzard Burn against this deck. We need to knock out those Seismitoad in one hit. So I'll just go ahead and get an extra energy in play with that Raiden Knuckle. Alright, so we have an interesting hand here. We have a Duskull, a Temple, DCE, Dowsing Machine, Ultra Ball. I 
Could Ultra Ball discarding the Tropical Beach and Dowsing Machine. Doesn't seem like it's worth it though. Let's just go ahead and play that N. And Level Ball here is a good opportunity to get that Mr. Mime into play. We're going to need it anyway, so may as well get it out there. And Tropical Beach once again. So you can see Tropical Beach certainly coming in handy here. Without that, we probably would have struggled quite a bit in this game. Now, both benches are full here, so a chorus for 10 cards. I am very happy to see that my opponent indeed does have a full bench. That means I should be able to get nice amounts of damage off with Seismic Punch. I mean, <laughs> uh, we're going to be doing the full 180 damage with Seismic Punch. 30 damage to 6 different Pokemon. And once we get Dusknoir into play, hey, that's going to be pretty darn strong. So there we have just another Ride Knuckle for for 50. Drudagon survives? How did that happen? I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, Skyla here for a switch. Go ahead and switch right into that size of a toad. Got the Dusk Clops into play. Could have played the Rare Candy there, but I don't feel like Dusknor is in urgent need. So we'll save that Rare Candy for perhaps another Seismic Toad and go with the Seismic Punch. Look at that. This is the longest attack animation in the game. We have to do 30 to everything, and it has to show me. Yes, we're doing 30 to Thunderous, 30 to Keldeo, 30 to Deoxys, 30 to Curum, 30 to Deoxys, and 30 to Curum. And we're also doing 0 to Drudagon, 0 to Dusclop, 0 to Temple, 0 to Mr. Mime, and 0 to Temple. Glad we got to see all of that. Okay. So, here comes Kiram now with those three energy. Looks like, yikes, there are two big bad Kiram ready to go. And this is a big concern right now. I mean, there's just so much energy. My opponent's going to start getting knockouts very quickly here. And we do see that Blizzard burn for the knockout. I'm going to promote a Temple here since I do have a Colrus for a bunch of cards. I'm going to hope to get a Rare Candy. And a Seismitoad right here. We'll attach another energy to the bench. Timpole. And I suppose we can super rod in a Timpole, Seismitoad, and Restram because we have to. And a Colrus for nine. Turns out pretty decent. All right, we do have the Seismitoad. We can go ahead and Dowsing Machine. Uh, we can discard Juniper and a Tropical Beach for the rare candy. And here we go. Just continue our seismic punching. Now, the thing here is, where do I want to move the damage? Do I want to take a knockout this turn? And I think my answer is going to be yes. Right, my opponent has used Blizzard Burn, meaning he cannot attack on the following turn. He does have that Keldeo EX on the bench, though, which can rush in and then retreat. So, what I'm going to do is actually move enough damage over to Keldeo EX so I can... Seismic Punch, that for the knockout. And then force my opponent to have a switch or another Keldeo and another Floatstone. Or just have to retreat the energy. So not only are we taking two prizes with this, we are really inconveniencing our opponent, forcing him to have, you know, some good cards to actually use Blizzard Burn again next turn. Or burn the three energy to retreat and use Blizzard Burn, which, you know, I would love to see. That's one less thing I have to worry about. So let's go with another Seismic Punch. This will take about 5 minutes to complete. 30, 30, 30, 30, and 30. There we go. And Keldeo EX will go down. So a nice big turn there. Getting a knockout, getting two prizes, while also putting a ton more damage on board. So this is actually pretty cool, but you can see we're likely to run out of steam pretty soon. We got one Seismitoad. It already got knocked out. Got a second Seismitoad. And the question is, how many of these Seismitoad can we actually get into play? <laughs> this is going to be a major problem. All right. So will my opponent have a Switch or another Keldeo EX, you know, to get out of this Blizzard Burn here to, you know, just get another Curum active? Um, there we do see a third Curum going on to the bench. So will we see a switch this turn in order to use Blizzard Burn? Or will my opponent have to retreat in order to attack? That would be pretty brutal. And we do see the Prism Energy going on to the bench, Kiram, and a Lysander bringing out Dusknor. Uh-oh. So Dusknor, of course, is our 
you know, our main source of doing anything with this deck. Right, we need to be able to rearrange the damage. My opponent does have to retreat, though, so that's a big deal. But there we see the Lysander and the Blizzard Burn taking out the Dusknar. Not what I like to see. Uh-oh. All right, well, here comes Seismitoad. The bright side to this is that we did keep Seismitoad in play. We do have another Chorus here for nine cards. And we do have an Ultra Ball along with the Rare Candy. So we can get another Dusknar into play. And things are going to be beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead, Ultra Ball, for that second Dusknor. Pretty happy that we got that into play. Coerce is a very strong card, you know, drawing so many off of that. Nine cards is pretty good. And now, I mean, what do we do? <laughs> we can Sinister Hand all sorts of damage around. It's just a matter of what should I do. I'm trying to decide, should I even bother playing that Startling Megaphone? I don't think so. What, what is my opponent going to do with Silver Bangle? May as well just hold on to that in case we see some muscle band in the future. And I think the right thing to do here may be to eliminate this Curum that has all the energy on it. If this can buy me another turn of using Seismic Punch, that's going to be completely worth it. So let's just move some damage around. I'm trying to avoid Max Potion. Um, well, actually, we do have enough damage in play to knock out both Curum. So both of these do have the energy on them. And we can actually get a two-prize knockout, or two-prize turn, knocking out both gear. And we do have enough damage in play, thanks to the Muscle Band, hitting for 50 on the active. And then we'll do 30 to the bench. And right, we'll take away all the energy on those gear. And we don't really care too much if Thunderous EX uses Raid Knuckle. So there we go, Seismic Punch. And this deck can be pretty cool sometimes if your opponent happens to fill the bench and you get a good start. <laughs> So there we do see the seismic punch. Two turns taken, or two prizes taken two turns in a row. Oh, baby. And my opponent concedes the game. Doesn't want to deal with Dusknor and Seismitoad any longer. So our seismic punch takes down the game against this Team Plasma deck. Who would have thought Seismitoad and Seismic Punch would be the superior Team Plasma Pokemon? Yeah. Take that, Kyurem. Take that Thunderous and take that Deoxys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will certainly have some more for you soon. I am Puka from the Top Cut and I will see you guys next time.